Hello, I'm Angela Johnson. Welcome to the Craft Academy, where we have demonstrations and inspirations to help you with your crafting. I'm going to show you today how to decorate an ordinary olive oil bottle. Now, this could be one that you're recycling, one that you've already used, or perhaps you bought a bottle and you'd like to decorate it. And I'm going to use gallery glass paints to create this really attractive design. And what's lovely about this is that it actually catches the light as the, if you had this on a windowsill, it would shine the light through because the paints are actually translucent, just like a stained glass window. So how did I actually get to do this bottle? I've done it in a few stages to make it easy for you. So I've taken a plain bottle and I'm going to put the strips on first so that I've got the basic outline to hang each of my olives on. So I'm going to take my plain glass bottle and the first tip is always make sure that your bottle is really, really clean. So I've got a tissue and I have actually already sprayed this with glass cleaner. So I want to make sure that the surface is totally clean and dry before I start to decorate it. Now to get that centre stem on my bottle, I'm going to take one of our leading strips. Now these are a really useful way of getting long lines and straight lines when you are doing glass painting. So I'm going to take one of these and they're self-adhesive, which makes my job really, really easy. And I'm just going to position it. And one of the things I like doing, I love using nature when I'm doing glass, any glass or, or really any craft work, because nature's never really perfect. So there's no rule really about how this stem should be. Nature's always different, isn't it? Now I could either cut this with scissors, but I'm actually going to use, in fact, I can reposition it. So I think I'm gonna make that straight there and maybe just have a curve in the middle. And that's what's lovely about these lines is that they're flexible. I'm gonna use a craft knife, but as I said, you could use scissors. I'm just going to cut that off there. So I've got my centre stem. Now, I'm not going to save that strip for later. Every single bit of a crafter's life, we save every single bit because there's always a use for it later. I'll put that back on there. Now, the next bit I want to do is I want to do all the little short stems to hang the olives on. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to use the liquid leading. Now this will need to dry before I put the olives on, but I'm going to just put my glasses on here so I do it properly. And when I'm using my liquid leading, what I do every time before I use it, is always give it a little squeeze first, check that it's running fine, which it is, and now I'm going to apply it to my job. Again, no rules. I don't think there are any rules on how a plant grows. So starting from the stem, I'm just going to take the leading and just make the little branches as a gently squeeze and flow. Now again, sometimes you might have to steady your hand to do it, but it takes a little bit of practice to get the flow right. But as you can see, I'm building up each of the stems and I'm gonna to have to let these dry. Now this takes probably about seven hours for it to become quite dry. But you can get the picture of how I'm building up the liquid lead in order to hang the olives on. Just to speed things up so you can see how I do the next stage, I'm going to let that one go and dry and I'm going to use the one that I prepared earlier. So as you see, I've got all the stems there ready and now I'm going to do the fun bit. Now this is really, I had a lot of fun doing this because usually in glass painting, I would now create a circle of leading and fill it up, but I thought in order to have the olives looking really standing out, I didn't want to give them a black outline this time. So I experimented a bit. So I took my green. This is a really fun way to do. So I've got green and I've got my amber and I've got my red. And I actually use all three together. So I'm going to start here. Um, I'm turned it around so that you can see what I'm doing your way. But I'm going to start with one here. And what I actually did was, so I squeeze out the green and what you'll notice straight away, what you'll notice is that it doesn't look transparent. Don't worry about it. When it dries, it is, it dries translucent. It dries transparent. And every time it does, it's still, you know, it, it makes me smile because it's so nice and there's no rule which one you're going to do. It doesn't matter how you do them. 
doesn't really, as I said to you, nature is very forgiving, so shapes can be unequal, they don't have to even be the same size. But I've done the green. Now, if you notice on each of the olives that I've got here, I've got a yellow line down the middle. That sort of gives them that round look and it gives them that nice, and that little red tip there to make them look like, um, they're just decorative, doesn't it? Because that's how we see olives when we have them to eat. Now I'm going to put a yellow line. Now most times you'd think I would let that dry, but actually I put the yellow on while it's still wet. And I think this is something that it doesn't mix. Whereas with, um, if you were doing this with water paints, that would mix together. But actually for the glass paint, it stays there. So I obviously will have to let this dry, but I'm still going to put my red tips on. Each time, now I'm just going to see, this one hasn't been standing up down. You can see I've used the red a lot, so just, yeah, ready to go. Red. This is such a fun thing to do. And what's nice is this is my design. I created it, and this is what you'll be able to do in a matter of moments. I think you'll agree that this is a really lovely design and hopefully you've enjoyed watching the Craft Academy.